Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good off. Fall is in the air, and the NFL season is in full swing, and we're underway here in week four. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And not much doing on the return. Good coverage there. Going to stop him in his tracks at the 15-yard line. The Bengals offense here ready to rock and roll. Joe Burrow is the man at quarterback. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And here are the key inactives for them in this one. And obviously, Charles, are going to be without some important names this week. Well, hopefully those guys will be on the sidelines encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come up. To... And that's caught inside the 30. And he's able to get it all the way down to the 20. A big play there for Cincinnati. And even 40 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. A great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Bengals need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Evan McPherson for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either. And it's 7-0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Bengals score. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Bengal, their second leading passer all time in a new uniform now, Andy Dalton. In motion right is Mingo. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. You talk about this Bengals defense. They enter this one down in the 26th position in the NFL against the run. Well, there wasn't anything wrong with them on that play, was there? Able to make a nice stop, held them to no gain. The key to their defense, though, is exactly what the defensive coordinator told you and I. They've got to be consistent. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Man in motion left, Mingo. Dalton here from the gun. He'll get this complete to the rookie first round pick. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Another chance for Dalton. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 38 yard line. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Snap came at one. Now here's Dalton. That one complete to again. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second down and one. To throw here, Dalton. 
And that's complete to Sanders. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. This is caught. Stop short, down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. Second and goal from the one. Sanders is in. Touchdown, Carolina. That's a great response here in this first quarter. And what I like about it is how they put this drive together. The other guy scored quickly to start the game, but this was smart football to not feel like you have to go out and score quickly yourself. So they worked the ball down the field, took their time, and finished with the touchdown run. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Burrow will throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it, and the Panthers are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the running crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused, and here he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. This second and four. Dalton. And once again, this is Sanders. Just a gain of a couple there. And now that sets up third and two. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. The Panthers at one and two through the first three weeks of the season. And they got off to the tough 0-2 start, but come off a very important first win of the season last time out. And it's tough when you find yourself in an early season crossroads, but that's exactly where they were. At 0-2, they were thinking, if we fall to 0-3, things can spin out of control. But now at one and two, they shouldn't feel the need to press out there. They're now back in a good spot. Find a way to win some games and keep moving forward. And it's the Panthers with the football. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. And Dalton to throw. Oh, the 
ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And out now, here come the Bengals. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Second down and three. Play action. It's Burrow. Open man is Chase complete. The LSU connection, Burrow to Chase for the Cincinnati first. They'll set up a throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Now Burrow. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now Burrow loses the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Taken right around the 44. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. So Dalton now. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Andy Dalton. And Sanders has got it complete. And he's brought down. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Here's Dalton. Got a man. That's Leggett. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Throwing. Dalton. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This will be Dalton again. He's got Sanders on the out route. It's caught. And out of bounds right around the 20. From the 20, here's second down and five. They'll run with Sanders. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 
Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there getting the safeties involved in run support. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Eddie Pinheiro on now. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Now it's Burrow. And he is caught. He's across midfield. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. 36 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take over at their own 41. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, Davis. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Dalton now to pass. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Johnson, the man in motion right. Now Dalton. He finds his man complete. That's Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. He finds his man complete. It's Sanders. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Mm -hmm. 
In motion, right goes Johnson. Another chance for Dalton. That one completes it again. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. To throw here, Dalton. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Jay Tufele gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Passing, it's Dalton. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And now it's a two-score game at nine, 16 to seven. Well, they already had the early lead and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. One second, all that remains. And his throw is incomplete. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! To this week four matchup, we won't put up a fight. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Panthers offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On the handoff, running left is Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Delay of game, offense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Here's Dalton. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. There for the sack, B.J. Hill. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The Bengals offense and Jamar Chase set to take over once more. And he was pretty much unguardable in that first half. You see the numbers there as they try to add to him here in this third quarter. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They go play action with Burrow. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. 
And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Gesicki hauling in the quick throw. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. In motion, the tight end. Now they go play action now. Burrow looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Offense. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. And Burrow going to throw again. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They'll wind up getting ten back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. On the right side open is Gesicki. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're... And oh, it'll be intercepted! And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And Dalton and the Panthers now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll start with a handoff to Sanders. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Dalton to throw. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down from the gun, Dalton. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton, and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that... Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just need a yard here. Second and one. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. 
He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Here's Burrow. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 17 at a Cincinnati first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Now Burrow. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Now he's got it. So they'll get 8 out of that completion. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. A give running right Moss. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. McPherson's kick is good. And the deficit trimmed to six now at 16-10. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. So Dalton now. Open man is Mingo, complete. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Here's Sanders. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Here's Dalton. And that's complete to Sanders. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. In motion right here comes Johnson. Dalton. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Dalton here from the gun. Got a man. That's Leggett. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Hey. 
They'll send a receiver in motion left. Delay of game, offense. And they'll accept that penalty. Still second down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Now Dalton. The Sanders has got it complete. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Now a carry for Sanders. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he will have a Panther first down. And it is celebration time on that sideline, and they've earned it. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Dalton down to a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. And there it is, the standard symbol, taking a knee means that one team won and the other one obviously lost the ball game. But now that team that won is two and two. After the first four games, I think they're okay with a two and two start. Not overly happy, but at the same time, not depressed either. You mentioned to me breaking down a season in quadrants. So the first quadrant is kind of a, a check, as you said, for okay. Not great, not bad. Yeah, right now they're just holding serve. They look forward to their next four. Maybe they can make a surge there. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina and it was a bit of a strange game they were held scoreless through the entire second half but their first half output that's enough to carry them to victory and that's an odd game to watch isn't it because when we saw the output in the first half you think to yourself okay they've got something working here they know what they're doing they'll continue that along but instead it's goose eggs in the second half fortunately enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home so for the Panthers, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them.